welcome back to the broadcast. And our friend Chef Daniel Tarasevich is with us in the broadcast kitchen. And he's uh, legendary because he's new. He's from the second floor bistro and bar at the Western Gallery. You've been there for quite a few months now, haven't it's you? Since March, yeah. Yeah, good. Because that's been around for about four or five years. Yes, yes, yeah. it has. And you have a cooking class going on, but you also have great scotch, and we're happy to have you. Thank on. you very much. This is our first class is this Saturday. What are you, um, what are you cooking on this one? Uh, kind of quick, thirty-minute meals. Okay. Um, things you can do quickly at home, and you know, just easy one, two, three. Do it on a griddle or just. Quick stuff. You, you know? sound like Melissa D. Arabian on the Food Network, but right. I think you're a little bit better than well, she thank is. You. Let's get started on this. I see some uh, ahi tuna so, here. We've got some. Right. What we have here is a coriander crusted tuna we're going to do. Okay, let's over do it. Quinoa tabbouleh. Yeah. We got to start with the tabbouleh, chopping all these herbs up. Um, tabbouleh usually means parsley. Uh, we have some of that in there, but a lot of other herbs. Uh, Thai basil. I didn't know that's what tabbouleh meant because I, I, I love quinoa. Right. So you're just adding fresh herbs to it. A make. lot of fresh herbs yeah. uh, in place of just straight parsley. Okay. Um, just kind of give it a rough chop here. That's the smell of mint I smell. That's right, and yeah. the Thai basil. Um, My mint is going crazy in our yard. <laughs> it grows like weeds. It does, it's great. I mean, rosemary and mint, you, you, you just try to get rid of it, but not really, because it's so fantastic. So There this, you go. So we've got diced cucumber, okay. peeled and seeded. All right. Um, tomato. You know what's fun is you can do this in 30 minutes, but we get to do it in five. Isn't that awesome? Right, yeah. I know. I mean, so, it's just so amazing that we can do that. When we cook the quinoa, we have a mixture of orange juice and water. Okay, go for it. It's about 10 minutes. Uh, oh, isn't that beautiful? See, that's so beautiful. Move that'll, around. Yeah, that'll, that'll puff up good. Yeah, can I use this a little bit? Sure, why not? All right, all right. Knock it out. Right. We've got zest of uh, lime, lemon, and orange. Uh, and also the fresh juices. See, that's squeeze. just flying out of the bowl. I, 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 I kind of want to show that. Just, I'm going to tip that up just a little bit right there. Look at that. That's the magic of television. That's we just have beautiful. Some cooked quinoa right here. Oh. oh, good. Oh, so you already have it. So this is fake quinoa, and that's real quinoa. All right, good. All right, let's pan sear that tuna. You want to? All right. Let's do it. Wow, that's beautiful. I just, man, this that that just knocks me out. That is so, and it's healthy too. It's just good. You want to move that around? Yeah, start. Let, me, let me do that. Let me do that while you do the tuna, okay? Let me do it. So here's our ahi tuna. Nice sushi grade stuff. So you're gonna you're rolling it in. This is a coriander and fennel crust. We okay. grind coriander and fennel with salt. So you put that you put that in a food processor to grind it down, or do you spice use grinder? Spice yeah. grinder. You can use you can actually use a coffee grinder because they're kind of the sure. Same, yeah, exactly. Right? Right. You just want to get the coffee taste out of it, don't you? Right. <laughs> so really high I've heat, done that right before. at the smoke point. Right at the smoke point. I don't know if you know that, but if you put that in there and it's not hot enough, it's it's going to just sit there. It's just going to soak up oil. And, and it's not, not going to be great. Sear. It's almost going to boil. So don't be afraid about it getting really hot. And the smoke's OK. Just make sure you have a good alarm. Open up the windows. There you go. Oh, I love this lemon zest in here. We're also going to hit that with some olive oil. OK, a little bit. Not a good bit. Okay, so you have the 30 minute meal class, then you have another one coming up because I know you're doing. Um, crock pot cooking. Crock pot cooking. Right. Which actually is just low and slow. Right. And it yeah, really yeah. is fantastic. It'll be easy, something you can almost uh, start when you're going to work, and when you get back from, from work, come home, it's going to be ready. So. It's a beautiful thing. If I do the chef toss in this, it'd probably fly Try out. It. No, I'm not going to do that on that. Give it a shot. No, there you go. So the key with tuna, though, is you're, do you, are you doing it on a two sides or all four sides? All four. All right. You get a, ask your butcher or a fishmonger or whoever, get you some nice six ounce blocks. Um, that way the, the, the center stays nice and rare. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So there it is. Let's look out. Lift and separate. And that's all it is to cook that. OK, so now you gotta, are you going to dice that or are you just going to throw we are it gonna, We're going to slice it up and plate it here. You want that back? Sure. Okay. You have another cooking class, not just crock pot. You have one more, I think. Yes. Do you remember what that is? I think I have the notes over here. All right. I remember what it was because you have three of them coming up. Oh, yeah. yeah meats and marinades. Crock pot, meats and marinades, 30 minute meals. You should have your own cooking show. All right. Go ahead. All right. You want to plate it up? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. This will look fun. So, we've got two sauces here uh, piquillo pepper coulis and a gold tom tomato coulis we're going to put on here. 
people don't realize, but if you go to baby stores and get squeeze bottles, they're fantastic. <laughs> and they really work the best. They really are. There he's doing. I got this at Baby Gap. He's doing the chef slide. There he is. Well, you right just push, there. It, push it like so. Doing the chef slide. That should be a dance. There you go. All right, we're going to take our, way so you can see that. our tabbouleh. Line it up here. Ugh, that's fantastic. Now, where were you bef before you were over at the West End? I was at Tillman's Roadhouse in Fort Worth. And how long were you there? Uh, almost two years, 18 months, between 18 months, two years. How was it moving from Fort Worth to the big city? Well, <laughs> my wife and I were living in Dallas, and I got my arm twisted to go to Fort Worth. Right. But as we all know, Dallas is better, so. Well, I, you know, I'm going to say this about Fort Worth because I love Fort Worth so much, but I also live in Lakewood and I live in Dallas. But a lot of us in Dallas spend our time trying to get to Fort Worth because Fort Worth is so fantastic. Look I love that. Dallas oh, better, so we've got that. I'm going to set this out here just a little We're bit. We're going to hit it with a little more olive oil. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? And then some black salt. And what's fantastic about salt is that salts now are coming from all over the world. Some of my right. favorite this salts in the a, world are from Kona. This is a Hawaiian, Hawaiian salt. Yeah. yeah. A and you get Hawaiian that? black lava salt. Black lava salt. Can I try this on camera? You don't mind, do you? And I don't want to make any of you home uh, at home jealous that you're not here eating this but we are. You can come to the restaurant and get that. It's on it's, our menu. It's on your menu. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going I'm to taste this first. The quinoa. Wow, that's great. That tastes like that tastes like your home herb garden. It's a nice herbaceous flavor. This it fresh is. citrus, olive oil, very low in fat. Um, there's no butter in the dish. Mm. Clean, simple. Mm. Um, that's fantastic. It's right out of the ocean. And it's quick. By the way, your scotch bar. At the second floor, it's one of the best in well, town. thank you very much. You guys have a lot of scotches. Stick around, I think. Daniel's going to stick around and uh, cook for us in the second hour. Sure. We call it whipping up another great dish. <laughs> but in the meantime, if you'd like to sign up for Daniel's cooking class, this weekend you just go to dthebroadcast.tv. 